A surveillance picture shows some of the final moments of a pregnant Montgomery County woman's life. The still shot shows Tamara Cornelius pumping gas into her car when the man police believe was her ex-boyfriend, Rafiq Thompson, pointed a gun at her. Today, we learn more about his past and the moments leading up to her murder. This comes as new charges were announced today, nearly a week after she and her unborn baby were killed. The district attorney describes it as a heinous and chilling crime. Kelly Rule joins us live with the latest in this tragic case. Kelly. Shana, so tragic. And today, documents show that Rafiq Thompson was actually on state parole at the time he allegedly killed 31 year old Tamara Cornelius, who was loved by her family and three children. The DA says he should have never had a gun. And documents say his previous conviction, only a few years ago in 2018, was for attacking an ex girlfriend. Family and friends say 31 year old Tamara Cornelius was loved by everyone. The Montgomery County District Attorney released this picture of the pregnant mother of three moments before her life was taken. It is chilling. Um, it is a heinous uh, killing. DA Kevin Steele says they charged 38 year old Rafiq Thompson after he turned himself in with the murder of Cornelius and her unborn child. She was 14 weeks pregnant after shooting her to death at the Exxon gas station on North Gulf Road in Upper Marion Township before 10 30 Friday night. The two were in a previous relationship. In the days before the murder, DA Steele says Thompson texted Cornelius 93 times and called her 21 times, which she did not answer. But on April 8th, she did and agreed to meet him at the Cheesecake Factory at the King of Prussia Mall. The DA says Thompson left before the food came, but then followed Cornelius after she left with his lights off to the gas station where he killed her. The DA says he threw his gun, which was later turned into police. He is a person not to possess a firearm because of his history. So somehow he got a gun. DA Steele says Thompson was on state parole. Documents show he was sentenced in June 2018 for three to six years for intentionally striking his ex-girlfriend with his car, seriously injuring her two years earlier. And she had an active protection from abuse order against him. The PA State Patrol Board says he was granted parole for several reasons, including completion of certain programs, and was released to community supervision in June 2019 after serving the minimum three years. And if we find out who gave him that gun? You know, that's a straw purchase. That's somebody putting a gun into the hands of a criminal. Um, and, and they have blood on their hands right now. Now, Thompson is being held without bail. His next court appearance is scheduled for April 25th. Shana. Thank you, Kelly.